Virginia Tech on the blue side this time around. See if that I think changes. I think Virginia Tech won't let through Morgana in this draft for sure. Um, I think they made a smart decision by not letting it up last time, and I think that yeah. Okay, Drexel does opt right to get that right there. Well. I think that's a wise decision. Vega follows up by VT. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> Morgana did manage to make it to a second phase, so we could see a bit mm -hmm. of an, more of an early priority on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see the rise ban, of course. I'm gonna change things up. Swag won't have quite as much of a free ride in the mid lane, I think. Does Drexel continue to use a ban on Yadi's Riven? Is, is is a question, I think. So they do have to ban away the Camille. I think that's a, a, a perfectly fine decision. But now, now, will they also get rid of the Riven? And and if they do let it through, is Yadi gonna pick it? I, I, from from what I've been hearing, it sounds like there's a yes. To yeah. Yadi will pick it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. It's a yes. Uh, he may not pick it first pick, because I don't think he's worried about anybody else picking Riven against him. Right. Um, but he would probably pick it in the first phase. Right. So a lot of solo lane bans yeah. focused here for Drexel. Um, the Zach Twitch Viger, they do have to ban the Jin. so okay, mm -hmm. just looking for some more target bans as opposed to the more meta bans mm -hmm. they were going for earlier. And they do look through the Caitlyn, so VT's yeah. gotta go ahead and grab that first. Mm -hmm. um, I really hope they don't lock in like a Kaisa something here. I think that's a bit unfortunate for uh for, for Drexel here. I think they were probably looking to get that Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Zyrakon Zy could be quite good here if they do opt to go for mm -hmm. it. Uh, if you I go Zyrakon so though, you're opening yourself open to uh Caitlyn Morgana actually counters that lane. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, really well. Um so possibly the Zaya Morgana maybe. Yeah. I think Zaya Mor or Zaya Karma? Okay. Interesting. Trying to take that pick away, but at the same time, uh, mm. um, Olaf I, I, Riven would be my guess. Maybe no, he's not he doesn't really go Ninja. for it. We'll see. There's no way he plays Nino. I don't know about the Nino ever. He's 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 trolling us for sure. He does like Nino, but I I don't think he'll pick it. Let's see. Oh, he does oh, pick it. You guys are wrong. Okay. Uh, he says, "Shut up." I think we might see uh, a Caitlyn focus team comp around. Goodness this gracious! They, yeah. they should take. I just play more going here, so it doesn't get banned out. Uh, later. Yeah, I, I, Riven, no, they're going to take Riven. Uh, yeah, they, they yeah. want that. They want that Riven on the boy. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. No rush to get I'm ready. Like, unless you. Really I'm ready to be it. impressed. Yeah. I haven't seen this boy's Riven. I don't think so. I'm ready. Impress. Oh. Oh, not Tito. Oh no. I hope That's... it's not a placeholder. Are even placeholders allowed? I play. I, no, I don't no, cover no, enough it's... tournaments. I'm not sure what the rules always are. I'm I'm pretty sure they're not allowed here. Okay, um, go with the Olaf. Okay. I I expect a Morgana ban from yeah, Drexel. Yeah, insane. Yeah, take the take the Morgana out, so that it doesn't get in the way. Yeah, it, it's not necessarily clear if Karma's mid laner support. Um. It does um, work pretty well in mid lane true, right now. True. So yeah, they could put it in the mid lane and pick the Morgana for themselves. Which is definitely still an option. Yeah. Maokai's Interesting that they burn a ban on that Maokai. I th it's a good pick against Raven. Um mm -hmm. Raven charges up his passive really fast and he can interrupt yeah. some of Raven's combos with the W mm -hmm. or Q. Yeah. And unlike, uh, like, Camille, you can't, I mean, Riven doesn't have the same tool, like, hopping over wall tools that you can use to yeah. separate Maokai if he jumps on you with the Twisted Advance. Exactly. We are going to see the Morgana. Looks like it could slide, it will slide through here. Okay. Morgana ban. Expect that, alright, so Virginia Tech thinks that's a mid lane karma, or a support karma, rather. Uh, yeah, probably. Since they banned the Oriana here. Okay, so now you pick Morgana. Do you? You can. Think, you can yeah. still go the Karma mid. I'm not sure what's in Mage's pool. Mm -hmm. Or what's in Chao's pool, even. Um, you'll see, they go for the Cho'Gath. I really want Morgana. Huh? We're going to be talking about this Morgana yeah. this entire draft. Yeah, yeah. Go this, is like this is like my Watch, no, watch nobody there. pick it. We really like to see this. I really think they should. Oh, the swing oh, whoops. open. Huh. I was thinking about, like, how... Banning Swain is such a big thing in professional play right now, uh, it's but it's a different patch. Yeah, yeah, but it hasn't come into play. Um, they do lock it in since then. All right. 
Yes, 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 lock it. Please. <laughs> Don't make you. us look like oh. idiots. <laughs> yes. Oh, finally. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. V vindicated. Casters are not idiots. Yeah. We can predict pretty, some yeah. things. Still okay, that leaves a mid laner for Drexel. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised they went with the Swain here. Uh, in mid lane, I kind of expect. Uh, I know Gavin likes playing Nunu with like a quirky mid. Yeah. A uh, bit more auto attack focused. Uh, and okay. I actually see Corky taken hmm. away by Drexel uh, last pick. No, that's actually okay. a takeaway at that point. Yeah. Um, but you know, Board Boy still increases AP, so it still will work with Swain. Um, and I think they're worried about like you know a Frozen Heart coming in and just destroying the entire team comp. So. Five new champions on the side of VTech, though. Yeah, none of those champions have been played by Virginia Tech yet. Haven't been played in this series. series. Morgana was picked by Drexel one time, but none of the mm -hmm. other champions have been picked for the series at all. Who? But and Trogath and Olaf, but yeah. Oh, I'm Very sorry, different. On, on, on the side of Virginia Tech. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, sorry, Virginia Tech only. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> very different draft across everywhere. <laughs> and exciting new game. All right, interesting new game coming up. I like it. A lot of series we see nowadays are very, very samey with the with the picks. And the oh players, yeah. But this one shaking it up a little bit. I'm ready to be impressed by this uh, this ribbon in the top lane. Let's oh yeah. See it. It's always exciting to see Yad a play ribbon. Woo! I have a cat named Ribbon because I used to be a Ribbon one trick way back in the day. Used way back when? How many years ago? Uh, like five years ago. Or something. Yeah, I remember when Ribbon came out and everybody was building Triforce on her and. Nobody actually yeah, added to the champion. I at all. instantly bought that champion and played it on Twisted Tree Line like every day. It was amazing. <laughs> I had no I idea how know. to play it. I was building Triforce and I was like wondering, like the first day Riven was out, if you bought Sheen, you would actually have mana on Riven. Yeah. So wow. Like you wouldn't use mana for anything, but you'd have mana. Yeah. <laughs> the, the olden days. Jeez, I don't. Uh, I didn't start playing the game that long ago. Dude, so. I used to be just a purely a Twisted Tree Line player, pretty much. Really? Yeah. Because I had, I only had uh, two of the friends that would play with me, and we didn't want to have boosted teammates, so uh -huh. we just played three v twos all the time. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Old, I, I have, I have a friend that tree line. to this day still plays only twisted tree line. Twisted, twisted tree, tree line, line is the only queue I've ever gotten diamond in. So <sighs> I love twisted tree line. Yeah, it's a, it's a good map. I miss the super old twisted tree line though, with like the red yeah. buff in the middle of the yeah. line. Yeah, and the, the little dragon so... up top. And oh yeah, like that the was green so buff too. fun, dude. Oh yeah, green and white buffs. Green buff. <laughs> green, green buff. What the? Way back in the day. I love when green, green and white buffs were appeared randomly. Like they're just. Were, were they? Yeah, 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 they, yeah. They, they spawned in the two right. spots, but it was like 50-50 which one would spawn when you got there. It was just like what the oh heck? And old twisted tree line playing. There were like strats game. where you just go like triple smite just to get the early red buff for your team. <laughs> like two minutes. <laughs> it was so weird. Bring it back, right? Uh, it'll never happen. No, it'll never happen. That <laughs> magma core, by the way. Magma, uh, no, yeah. Uh, so magma chamber. Oh, yeah, magma, <laughs> cha <laughs> magma chamber, not magma core. That's freaking. No, you know the uh, first ever big tournament oh, for got... League of Legends was a Twisted Tree Line tournament. Right when that queue got released, it was sponsored by Razer, and that was where CLG got its start. It was like Hot Shot and really? Elements. Yeah. And they, oh, they got their amazing. start on Twisted Tree Line, and then they added Kobe and Big Fat LP. Uh, to make their WCG. I roster. did not know that. That's amazing. Yeah. See, Twisted Tree Line is how it's all started. Hmm. Oh yeah. How North America Legends Bring are born. Bring it back. Oh yeah, dude. League like of Legends this. wouldn't be an esport without Twisted Tree Line. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> something. Something I found really interesting is um, just like how far back like all the intersections between players go, because I was watching the the Hundred Thieves uh, <laughs> yeah, series, dude. the heist. Um, oh, yeah. uh, why, 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 I, I why that. And they open on MLG Anaheim like five years ago, mm -hmm. and Nade shots there playing Call of Duty, right? Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, right, he's the owner of the team now. Yeah. Ryu and someday were there playing on KT. Yeah. Okay. Aframu was there playing, I think, for Curse fear. at the time. <laughs> Probably fear. fear. I don't think Aframu played on no, Curse. No, he was never on Curse. No. Was, on was curse. he? He was on Curse oh, for like three he... days before he. Oh, was he on? Okay. Team. Yeah. It was not long at all. Or maybe it was, I don't think it was even CLG. So some team. Afro was there playing for some team. It's probably Fear or Monomaniac, one of those. And so was uh, 
There was a long time lately where right? I wasn't following Procene because all I did yeah. was watch StarCraft Brood War. Could have been Medios as the other player. Uh, cause yeah, me. Oh, definitely yeah. not in the scene yet. Yeah, Medios was there. Yeah, Codicine was a young boy. <laughs> Codicine was a young lad. Codicine was a Yeah, it was Medi Medios was, uh, that was like uh, when C9 first started doing their thing. Maybe. What was their, what was C9's original name? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Quantic. It may have been Quantic. Yeah, no, Quantic. no, no, no. Quantic, Quantic, Quantic is right. Quantic is right. I think both of those were a team they were under at one point or another. But they they qualified as Quantic before switching to Cloud9. Yeah. And then we had sponsors like dude C9 HyperX and then Whoa! TSM Snapdragon. Dude. Snapdragon. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I still have my Snapdragon shirt. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, Alright, we're we're into this game now. Live live time. Everybody's gonna set We've up. We've traveled back for the past nostalgia trip to play League of Legends currently. Stacked up for Dragon. They are stacked. Five stack for, uh, sorry, five four, point actually. for Virginia Tech. Yeah. If you're not ranked five match or higher, don't flash it. Oh man, um, sorry. It's, it's disappointing. There we go. <clears throat> I switched off the, uh, I didn't have the stream. Scene switched correctly. Whoopsie. That's the hardest part about streaming, is getting the scene switched. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chow is just uh, having a good time over there. Recall, oh yeah, though. dude. Recall. Recall. I was disappointed by the fact that Imaj didn't spam Kaisa's uh, Control 2. That has the greatest sound effect if you spam it, dude. I, I literally have two number twos, so I like hit both of them alternating. Yeah. God, it's amazing. They, uh, what is it? They've been really on point adding those spammable emotes for a lot of players yeah. recently. Or Jesus champions. Mm, yeah, the yeah. spinning. The yeah. spinning. Spinning yeah. Eve. Both junglers starting topside this time. Oh, off. No leash for him. Ooh, big boy. Putting on his oh. big boy pants. He's going to go for a hyper fast clear. Oh. He's going to get really low. Look at that. Poke. And he's free to do it because he's against Nunu. Like, Nunu's going to walk up and like... This Nunu pick. I, we didn't talk about this Nunu pick at all. Uh, yeah. I, I've seen it a couple times here, and it... I, I, I feel like it's so hard to make work, but if you can... Yeah, Gavin likes it. Um, all right. It's not like something it. he'll spam and sell a few, but he, he definitely plays a decent amount. Acknowledges the ability of that pick. I was taking quite a big chunk there. Pop in a potion. Let's see. It should be a winning lane for Caitlyn Morgana. Winnable, by the way. Unless they Ash is just going to run up. They're going to pop a level 2 before they are. Actually, he's going to land the oh, rune. Actually, it yeah. messes up. Chow with his karma Q, no synergy there. No synergy. Yeah, the snare came out, Q was aimed ahead, and then uh, <laughs> heal comes out before the ignite goes down, so he's a little bad. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the mastery spam. Oh gosh. Out of Kill yachting. me now. Oh goodness. Um, okay, so both junglers are now. Yes! Yes! <laughs> both sides of the map. Yeah, there we go. Don't stop. You have to do it even if it starts to mess with your CS rhythm. Oh, Just yeah. bind it to your right click. That's, that's, what, that's what I do. Dude, I've seen, some sins like bind every key to laugh and stuff yeah. like that. Like, there, don't underestimate what people will do to tilt their opponent. Just oh, yeah. Binding things all over the place. <laughs> Not a whole lot of early game action here, just some trading damage in the bot lane, but otherwise, both lanes just kind of playing a little bit safe. Jade goes in for a quick little dip onto the other flash. Crispy levels, I think, are a little tough for. Ooh, Ooh Magi jumps into them with the swag, gonna get a pretty significant amount of poke. The, wow. Uh, ah, wow. Completely Slick dodge missed. on that. That, uh, never move, right? Is it still called never move? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely a slick dodge. Dark Binding lands. Ooh, Ooh, Dark Binding does land. Ch trap the combo. Big, big, big chunk on a chow. How fast can he spam that, Yachty? Jesus. Uh, they removed the limit on how fast he can spam it. Did they? Uh, yeah, it can go pretty quick. Like, oh, did they really? Big. I didn't know. Oh, wait, he's actually taking quite uh, a bit of damage. Big trade, but he's got the wave, so the minion's going to make it a pretty okay. even trade. Conqueror props, big. so... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, what it was. So. I have not played top lane since Conqueror came out, I don't think, so... Yeah, top lane's lane. It actually changes not. things a little bit. I know before that, Riven's best uh, rune was basically Aftershock, which was kind of <laughs> yeah. upsetting. That's yeah, that's kind of lame. The, you know, 
Sick big damage champion. And... It's gonna go in. Actually, forces the flash out of down to flash. I don't know if that was quite necessary. He had Bonku there to back him up. Uh, yeah, he's gonna actually force his flash as well. And he's gonna get slowed up. Olaf's here. He's gonna go pick up his cleaver. Oh. He's gonna dodge it with the dash. Yeah. Really clutch dash there from Yade. Gonna end up saving his yeah. life. I think Olaf should run over and pick that axe up straight away. Mm -hmm. And then throw it again. I think he did. He was spamming those cleavers. He, he, he kind of delayed it. He, a he, yeah, bit. he walked into the bush and like hit him and then eat him before yeah. he grabbed it again. Dude, it, I think he still could have converted that kill. Yeah. I don't think he needs to teleport here. He may, though. Uh, especially if he doesn't mm. want to freeze. I don't know. I really don't think uh, Down the Flash needed a flash through it, though. I don't know. I'm isn't down the flash. He's down the flash. Spooky, spooky Riven burst though. So you, you always, you're always a little, a little scared of that. It does back and get that Caulfield's Warhammer. That was a baiting flash, is what that was. I'm gonna mm -hmm. Try to get him going. Yeah, bait his flash back out. Ooh, that would have been the 200 IQ. Mm. 10,000 IQ. Actually. Sorry, I was investigating. It sounds like there's fireworks going on outside my room. Right, another binding lands, Caitlyn Trap binding. follows up. There's a triple headshot onto Zaya there. You know, hurt, hurt. But at the same time, Nyla isn't taking a big chunk. I'm eyes actually doesn't have any mana though. Yeah, low health pulls, low mana pulls on the spot no. win in general. Active being a little. Oh, yeah. that's what I was gonna say. How long on Mantra? No. There it is. Oh, the missing pings come out. Oh, they're feeling it. Xiao's feeling himself. Yeah, I'm, I'm not ready. sure how much you can be like, oh, I played so well there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and, and at the same time, being uh, a little obvious with that, uh, with Ninu being there, really questionable, really questionable play there from Nihilism. Yeah. You just walk up slowly and die? <laughs> yeah, sure did. Oh, get those Smash Bros. memes out of here, dude. Just walk up slowly? Down smash. Yeah. Down smash. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay, I, now we need a wombo combo. Get me yeah, with the wombo we, combo. Do we have wombo combo potential in this game? Uh, uh, you could see some weird knock. Uh, Swain and Riven have some potential. Yeah, some like, weird, the, like that's the, about the, Swain, the most. Like, never move, pull in into like uh, Morgana, Dark Binding, Yare, Queen Forever train, It doesn't even yeah, like right? look that fun though. It's just like they yeah. just get stuck there. <laughs> Wombo like, combos are fun when people just get knocked up all over the place. Well, really, the wombo combo potential here is like Cho'Gath knocked up into Imaj ulting and then rooting everybody there. Yeah. It's yeah. like the biggest possible one, honestly. Then like a mantra karma queue. Yeah. Oh, flash forward, bind! Well, Nihilism is just absolutely going all the way in. The track's gonna land. Oh my god, is he gonna get out? He's got the heal. Oh, he got out just fine. Heal necessary to get out there. And he has a low on HP now. Yachty in the top lane. Oh, double knockup does land. Oh, he cleans him up. Almost oh, actually. Zaya goes down the bottom. Oh my now god. Shao is in a bit of a oh. weird spot too. Pops the ignite on to active trying to get the kill there. Heal comes out, and I think that's enough to keep active alive. See you later, kid. Oh, but Wong Fu's there. Oh, Wong Fu's looking run for down him. the whole map. Kill him, Revelator. The ult's gonna come. Oh, Ooh. no. Nihilus is dying with a random skill shot again. Where's but guess axes? what? Three kills for someone, Revelator. Someone pick up this man's axes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Goodness. that was, uh, I mean, it looks great, and then I think he missed an axe or two, and Rev just does so much damage with that BF sword right now. Yeah. Yeah, and, and now, all of a sudden, Revelator right there, back to back to back, three kills, and if you get that Caitlyn rolling, uh -oh. it can just absolutely abuse you. He get, does opt to get the Berserker's Grieve and a couple couple pots and a, and a pink ward, so not a giant... Oh, he, got, he gets a dagger as well, so opting to go for, uh... For the little bit more utility option there, I yeah. think probably the wise decision. Yeah, able to I think I'll probably finish up. Yeah, I think I'll finish up the zeal first before finishing up Infinity Edge. Just get that early yeah, yeah. game dueling potential down. Yeah. Definitely. Package is here for Quirky. He needs to get out. Looks like they're trying to bait it out of him, but not gonna need it. Swag not really getting any luck with his uh, never moves. Quirky uh, just gonna use the package there in the mid lane, get a little bit of. Poke damage down, and it was probably about to time out. Oh, there's a nail with him. Finally does land one, but the trade actually ends up not going Ow. in his favor at all. Yeah. Swain, not the greatest early game champion, um, especially after the nerfs, so. Yeah, 
one back in for a little bit of trade. Actually, the Q doesn't land, so not as much damage as he would have liked. Still a good trade, though. He's up 12 CS. Oof, right uh, all the other lanes pretty even in CS. Yeah. I think Gotta we will start to his, see... Uh... Oh, go ahead. I, th I think we'll start to see the bot lane, though, shift very quickly. Yeah. Especially yeah, the... CS-wise. Yeah. Um, I was just going to say, Yachty going with his uh, standard ribbon build, which is the call fields plus the Kindle gem, which gives him 20% mm -hmm. CDR mm -hmm. real fast. Uh, those two items don't build anything into anything together. Um, but he's going to go for those two before finishing up Phage. Uh, which makes yeah, I was pretty... thinking, like, that's the Black Cleaver build, but that's the wrong hammer. <laughs> yeah. So... yeah, wrong hammer, exactly. Yeah, wrong hammer. Gavin's not actually in that bush. Just, just chill on here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... I think he knows that at this point. Spending <laughs> quite a bit of time down there. <laughs> and actually, it looks like Wangfu's going to be soloing the Rift Herald, it looks like. He definitely is. Yeah, it looks like he that. definitely is, yeah, so. Yeah, definitely something Olaf can do, especially if given the time. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no, did he get trapped there? Oh, he did. Yeah, he got trapped oh, there too. Unfortunate. Which so goes down, but she heck. Virginia Tech aware of that now. But nothing they can do about it at this point. Nunu might just go look for a solo onto this Cloud Drake. Does use the Scryer's Bloom to open that up. Looks like uh, God Gavin will opt to try and solo this Cloud Drake. Uh, we do see Wangfu coming down there. Maybe you could meet him down there, but I would expect it would be. Yeah, he just wants to get a bit pressure from. The bot lane right now, but Nunu on this side of the map too, soloing the dragon. Um, and Aj that low, I don't think there's too much. Wangfu is here if uh, if BT gets a little bit too deep in the jungle. Could be, yeah, looks like he'll just kind of look for the lane gank. Into the bush. This could be oh, quite oh, good for Drexel here. They have no idea that Wangfu's here, and Rebel Leader is going to actually get completely knocked. Oh, Ignite oh, does he does kill kick down. Morgana. Oh, last auto kills Corky. Oh, in the mid lane, we do see the solo kill for Swain. God, Gavin's actually probably going to fall here. Yeah, def definitely oh. will fall. Oh, and he flashes. Our game freezes. And the Q he's does dead. land from Olaf, and he's going to get smacked. Smacked in the head. Yeah, dead. <clears throat> good, good, uh, well. Good, good, good play in the bot lane for Drexel, but unfortunately, yeah. their mid laner does get solo killed, so. Yeah, I mean, they, they shut down a 3 0 Caitlyn. So I don't think that's. Oh, Rift Toad's there as well. Could force out a yeah. teleport to keep that turret alive. Oh, yeah, they do have the Rift Herald. I think it's just gonna die, though. Yeah, no, it's gonna be first turret for Drexel. Alright, so definitely some stuff that Drexel needed there. They, they get the shutdown on the Caitlyn, and they get the bot tower. Hopefully, they can, uh, they can make a rotation work in their favor. Yeah, Swan Gold did here for Drexel so far. Off of that first turret. And take out the Rift Hill before it attacks any more turrets. Okay. Yeah, he's he got ran down here. On. He's actually going to get collapsed on by Corky, fine, but though. should be just fine. Yeah, he's got the Blast Cone. Totally fine. I'm just going to BM on the Blast Cone. NBD. I don't think they know they're over the wall from each other backing, but you know, just. Yeah. Want to. Yeah, okay. Now this time, Drex is going to keep up with the swap bot lane top again, um, and Yeah, they got the first I turret think, this time. Yeah. Uh, that had been a problem for them before. Hopefully they'll solve. actually going to answer that with four people in the top lane coming to game. Five people in the top Ooh, lane coming to game. Oh, yeah. Now five running up. They do okay. spot it out, so... But Morgana's here, and Morgana can lock down people for quite a long time. We see the teleport yeah. coming from down to Flash. The Dark Grinding does land on Chow. Another Morgana is going to also land on a Chow. Wow. Flash is the never move wisely, I think. I actually get out of this? I think oh, three-man oh, knockout oh, from the Yade. the Caitlyn trap. And Yade's going to end up blowing up Chow. Oh, nice shoot. Down. Oh, oh never move just landed on two people. We're gonna absolutely Activate rush him. down the flash. Bit of a rough spot. Oh my gosh! And now the dark finding lands on the Mage. Mage's just kind of up there. Oh, oh never move. Max Range hits on oh, Amash. <laughs> he does finish the kill too. Oh my goodness okay. gracious, Drexel, you're trolling. Yeah, it looked no, like no. Drexel was gonna get out okay, and then like just yeah. four of them are dead. <laughs> Yeah, all of a sudden that double never moves from the swag comes out, a couple dark bindings land, and all of a sudden you've got four people yeah. dead on the floor. I was about to say Drexel, that's like that's the, the play that'll save their mid game, and it's the play that ruined their mid game. So um just like really small things there and like swag lands uh skill shots in the right places and 
Yeah, yeah, he's there at the right time and never move lands. And another dark finding uh, landing on stuff like this happening. Followed by the never move, and he's just gonna run right back to his death. Down to flash is gonna try and chase down Yare, and now we do see uh, Honku running up, looking to take out somebody, but he's actually probably just gonna get kited around and die. The never move lands again. Oh, he almost takes out. Oh, Yare does fall in the back line. An active one of the is fault there, but he does end up getting away. Three people do take down Yare, so they finally get something, but mm -hmm. yeah. after all that. No, Ragnarok runs out and Olaf just feels lonely in the middle yeah. of this four person yeah. ball around him. You can't reach that anybody. Just, that was just so unfortunate. He like couldn't get in a real place to pick up his axes and throw enough of them or catch anybody uh, yeah. and actually kill them. So he feels bad and he's Huang Fu, Huang Fu continues uh, his play style of just building damage items. Looks like he's building a black cleaver now. He did build the, uh, the health jungle item. Yeah, yeah maybe so. he's, just, he's just copying Gavin's over from Perspective. Perspective. Yeah. That's just what every Olaf does, though. We have uh, taken a bit of damage there in the mid lane. Yeah, Spooky Mantra. Spooky Mantra Q could come out and just ruin his day. But he, he, he's fine. Yeah, he's gonna get this red buff, get the life regen coming out. Plus Fleet Fork does. always is he nice. He actually finishes Infinity Edge. He's almost got oh. the zeal. Uh-oh. Yachty goes uh, in on two people. Here's the big play. Big play, Yachty. Impress me. Do oh. it. Get the animation oh. cancel. Oh. Animation canceling Poggers. Nice, nice axes. Oh, he gets knocked up, though. The axes are coming in, and he's going to be slowed for his entire entire life. He's actually silenced. He's There's, dead. Okay. Okay, Thank but Chow in the mid lane. Chow gets obliterated by Riddle Little. And that's an actual objective Chow? there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and now they're just gonna be knocking on the tower. Red buff, Caitlyn. Bye bye, tower. Doesn't well, quite go down, but gets a lot of HP go down. Yeah, yeah Mage and Imaj are there to, to force people off. The wave will die. You're come these yeah, two. now a collapse from Huang Fu and down to Flash. Nothing really gonna happen, though. Okay, so up in the top lane, Swag's still pushing in, and uh, everybody, this three man squad of. Virginia Tech is, I think, just gonna slowly push this turret down. Because of all the pressure they have everywhere else. And apart from that super early game snipe with the Mantra Q, this Karma just really not working out for Chow. Mm -mm. Yeah. He's been caught by stuff and, and just dying it's too much. You see mid lane turret go down, and it's gonna be Tristan to do a dragon. I don't know why down the flash is even in the river right now, but. Yeah, Dark Mind is gonna ruin his day. No flash wow. available. He, he's actually just dead. The headshot, the trap slam headshot's gonna just knock him down. Another kill. Yeah, they tried as hard to KS that as he possibly could. Yeah. He's like, give me this kill. Oh, no. He finishes Black Cleaver. He's ready to fight people. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe he's too many scared. people there, though. He's baiting for his team, the never move almost lands. And they do to get the dragon. It is just another wind drake, but you know. Yare Yare likes those wind drakes, I think. Let's him run up people real fast. Well, it allows him to be more slippery than normal. Oh, yeah. I think he likes that. Yeah, the uh, double wind drake is gonna start stacking up pretty hard here. That in combat movement speed not to be slept on. Yeah. Knight's Foul, first item for Nunu here, actually. It's, uh, yeah. I feel like it's not too, it's too strange. Caitlyn real big. Caitlyn opting to go for the Static Shiv instead of the Reptar Cannon. I feel like she'll eventually go huh. up anyway. Yeah. I think they want just more Wave Clear, potentially. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's quite true. They don't really have the greatest. Swain. Swain takes a few spell clear, rotations. Yeah, it does clear waves, but yeah, it's not fast. It's slow. This is Shirelia's. Belt, dude, we've, oh. we've come full circle. I started playing the game and they removed it from some supports, <laughs> and now it's back. I'm glad it's back. I like the end. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Shirelia's is so much more popular than Twin Shadows is. Twin Shadows is also a very nice item right now. Yes. But mm. it's just kind of not something people care about as much. Yeah, it's like you slow two people versus like speeding up possibly your whole team. <laughs> and sometimes the ghosts do weird stuff. Oh, Yachty's gonna go in on Down to Flash. He's not pumping out the craziest amount of damage, but Wangfu is here to help out Down to Flash. So Yachty possibly biting off a little more than he can choose. The teleport no. is coming in from the swag. He actually does kill Down to Flash. Just kidding, he's fine. And Wangfu's gonna run for his life. Oh, Meanwhile, boy, on the top side of the map, uh, Yachty still wants to go in. He can't stop flashing his mastery. I love it. Yeah. And they actually steal the red buff of Drexel in the top side. 
And now they're going to get that bot tower. So, uh, once again, just uh, more and more things falling into the lap of VT. Yare making a good play. Actually, they could lose their mid tower here. Oh, is four, has, oh four, he gets four, the three man, three man oh, ult. Gosh. Two people do get out of it, but unfortunately, Chow continues to just get absolutely destroyed in these games. And now I'm Oz is going to flash away. But guess what? The swag oh. also has flash. Big blast going to finish him off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice play there. Baron's spawning right now, and there's nobody to contest. Mm. So I got just oh, walking there. back. Yeah, flying on the other side of map. Spawn. Yeah, it should be. Pretty, oh pretty no! Void boy old uh, Caitlyn will take this down so fast. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, Huang Fu can't really look for a steal against a new. You're just yeah. very unlikely to win that that battle. Yeah. Not, even... Not even gonna make an attempt. Not even gonna try. 20 minute Baron 8k gold lead for Virginia Tech. Yeah, and this one actually looking to get even more out of hand than the last one, possibly. With that Baron now, and, and Caitlyn actually buying another Zeal, getting extremely strong on Caitlyn. Very low CS game, but lots of scrappy fights. Yeah. Wong Fu once again out get CS and Gavin, but Gavin having a lot more of an impact around the map so far. Just being everywhere he needs to be. And really, just the bot lane for Drexel just continues to not really perform to the level they need to to, to make this series work out. In every game, we've kind of just seen them not really make any plays happen. I think the first game was the game that they... they yeah, the first game the was the game thing. they did the best, but they yeah. didn't really do anything until about the 40-minute mm -hmm, mark. Yeah. And then Imaz just kind of slowly got kills. He just kind of kept yeah. alive. He wasn't really making any Yeah, plays. that's just more to the nature. Oh, well, Yachty goes in. Yachty popping everything. He gets the stun on Amage. He's going to flash that mastery and hopefully kill him. He does. He's Rare getting here. collapsed on, but Four I don't left. really think he cares because it's just... He's Four levels uh, up on enemy to carry. An 0-4 Zaya. Kwangfu wisely clears all the minions so the tower does help him out. Active Nihilism is going to tank the tower for him like a bro. And uh, Yadi's just fine. Yadi doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. Yeah. He he's was like the behind the... He's healing up constantly. It's just insane. Like, I, he was behind that turret getting collapsed on by four people, and I thought he was going to kill the AD carry. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's doing some work right now. I'm sure I'm sure Oz had a heart attack when he saw that ribbon <laughs> around the corner. Karma was coming to one. save him. It didn't end up happening, the, but... The most frustrating thing to play against, actually. Yeah, no, it's they it's spanned for a top. reason. Yeah. They lose their top tier 3, and they're gonna lose their mid tier 3, and just like that, the base of Drexel begins to crumble. Yep. It's, uh... They're doing good. So far, 22 minutes, 12k gold lead, or 11k gold lead, I guess. See if they can match their 13k gold lead to 23 as they had that time around. <laughs> oh, was it 13 to 23? All right, they're they're gonna they're gonna make a play for it. Oh, oh, the package in comes out. in from Corky, but he's oh. actually just gonna be trolling, and pretty much well, he lives. But it's gonna be taste. Oh, a nice dark binding there, and the swag is in the back. Oh, it's just gonna obliterate everybody. It's an absolute disaster for Drexel. Oz does ult away, but the, they do get the tower for Virginia Tech. Yeah, they continues to flash it up. Show them that rank seven. Yeah, and they just pull away from that tier three turret as well. They're going to lose an inhibitor here, an inhibitor turret. Another inhib. Probably a third inhib in the top lane. Oh, looks like it's uh, going to be the fabled triple inhib. Feels absolutely bad, man. Monsu going to flash the Mapingu. Oh. Yeah, that's a. Uh, you only lose two people in that fight, and you're kind of just wondering how the heck you lost all those inhibs so quickly. Oh no, he's tanking tower and flashing mastery. Maximum. Somebody stop this man! Look, he doesn't have the smug ash team out, so maximum BM has a <laughs> That's the best one. Yeah, he has the death stand, so he can heal up quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. These wounds are just basically, basically potions. Oh yeah. Infernal Drake, third dragon going over oh, the attack. Oh no, and the Infernal to top it all off. I don't, I don't think that's the reason that <laughs> the, the, the game's gonna be over, <laughs> but... Oh, man. It's the icing on the cake. Yep. Or VT. And yes. now, I, uh, is Drexel just uh? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Done? Are, they, are they done? They're yelling at each other in team chat. No, nah, Chogak. Everyone's out. tilted. He's out. Okay. Mage, not really sure what he's doing. Honestly, they were. For there's something. probably nothing they could have been doing there anyway. And and honestly, now if I'm Drexel, I'm talking about I'm talking about game four. Oh yeah. 
how do we how do we solve this problem? What do we do to make our bot lane just not do nothing? Yeah, and how do you get closer to the uh, what happened in game one, right? Right. Yeah. You're not going to have the Vagar probably because Tech's been banning that out the last two games. So you have to figure out some other way to stall this game out other than just popping down Event Horizons and starting out. Yeah, your and, and and that's the thing, really. They they just as soon as they started losing that Vagar, they just they're kind of just collapsing. Um, they had that Morgana in that game as well, so maybe looking to pick that in this uh, in this game four. But oh, that uh, would be nice. Yeah, honestly, Virginia Tech just gonna kind of walk up, choke them out with the big minions, look for a couple picks. Yadi's gonna obviously try and fountain dive. Why wouldn't you? Here's where we get the wombo. Uh, yep. Oh no, and he's gone, and that's that's gonna spell defeat here for Drexel. Just a just a formality. Yadi's gonna really just try and make something happen. Oh, we oh, he gets the noodle. Blast. Big it's blast. Flash that mastery. He doesn't get the kill. Nunu steals it. Yade <laughs> actually doesn't get any kills. The fountain dive does come in, but it's not from who we expected. It's from the swag and from active nihilism. They had the Zonia's hourglass, dude. We thought it was Yade, but actually it was everybody else. Game two, Virginia Tech. Game Even three. game three, I'm sorry. <laughs> Second victory for Virginia Tech is what I was looking for.